Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you today and today we have Linden in this battle and they are the, one of the other new Elven factions that I haven't actually uh, checked out yet but this is like a battle I did a while ago and it's very very close with uh, Linden and two Woodland Elf, Elven factions uh, defending against four uh, attacking factions. But yeah we'll just check out like Linden quickly while we're here. So this is their Noldorian swords unit um they look excellent i mean the double-handed sword i'm a real big fan of it's a shock infantry unit um so they are going to be very very nasty then over here we have a sword unit uh, a very elite sword unit with the shipwrights nobles uh in their nice silvery armor this looks excellent as well look at those shields as well they look excellent excellent the detail put into this is amazing in fairness but yeah, I mean, these guys look excellent as well. I mean, you can only get three of these guys showing how elite they are. And then we've got, what else have we got? We've got archers, obviously Noldorian archers. These guys are going to hold the line. These guys obviously got like the uh, the last alliance look. And they look excellent. I do enjoy, do love this look. So I'm sure we will be doing lots of last alliance sort of battles on the channel now. Because we have these guys available. Along with obviously Gondor, who can sort of tag in as like Numenor and... Uh, Arnor's like slapped together and stuff like that obviously um, but yeah these guys do look excellent as well and then they've got their bows down there which I mean you can see again like the inscriptions stuff like that on there it just looks amazing just the detail put in the level of detail is amazing anything else uh, not really oh we have some cavalry over here Noldorian and questions it's not got a large roster at the moment I'm sure they'll add more rosters uh, more to this roster as it goes on or the sub mod will um, with their own uh, Linden faction, they might like combine together. But yeah, these guys look pretty awesome as well. Look basically just like the uh, rest of the uh, units, just on a horseback. Um, and they've got like a big long uh, sort of spear with like a curved blade. It looks really cool. But anyway, we'll go to normal speed now. Um, we have the two Woodland Realm factions over here. I am playing as this one here. Uh, and we're fighting a coalition of forces here. We have. Uh, Dolguldur, who's got some Merkwood trackers, that's like dotted all over the place. He's got Merkwood raiders here, more trackers over here, and we've got the Elven King about to run down all of them. I stupidly wasted ammo on firing at those men. Um, was a bit silly, but uh, at the same time, I had no cavalry to chase him down. Um, but we have, yes, we have Dolguldur as in our coalition. We have the uh, Uruks of Isengard over here. We haven't seen these guys in a while. Probably one of the, still one of the strongest uh, evil factions. We have, uh, oh, that's Gondor. Strangely, we have Gondor here. Don't know what Gondor must have gone evil. He's like, I just want to get rid of those pesky elves. Just get rid of them and then place the orcs and men. And then we obviously we have, ob obviously it's not that obvious, but we also have these things. So yes, we have Dolgaldor, Gondor, Isengard, and the Eastlings. Uh, so good to see these things again. Uh, we can see their nice new faction uh, units off again. Here they are. The Warlords of Rune, if you've not seen them. These guys looking excellent with their ram horns. We've got Loki Rim, Macemen, Varig Archers. They aren't new Varig Archers, but I just like showing them off. They're very pretty. But anyway, yeah, so we're getting underway. And it looks like there's going to be a river crossing defense on this side uh, by the elves. I need to really put some more units here. I was pointed out that there there is gaps in the line that I've uh, started to make. I think I moved some troops over eventually. And then on this side, we also have... Uh, Another defense ready by another Merkwood player here. So we have lots of Lasgal and Blades, lots of archers, and uh, yeah, they're just getting underway. They're just going to start shooting them out. I'm not even firing. I'm not even interested in firing at her, at these guys here, these Merkwood trackers. Over on this side, we have Linden. He's fighting, I think, off against a bit of Ur of the uh, of Isengard of the Urukai. Well, yes, that does entail. Isengard doesn't tail Urukai. Um, but yeah, so. I mean, these guys are awesome. Look at that hand on his uh, on his helmet. That looks awesome. I do like that. Fight for Saruman. Who else have we got here? These are uh, Dunladings. Yeah, I thought they might be. But yeah, so we are fighting on L the Vinland Outpost. This is not one of the new maps, but it is. Uh, it's new to me. I've never played on this map before. Um, it does look quite fun, actually. Um, you can't attack. This is the only side you can attack from if you're the attackers. Defenders do have all of the uh, like outside over here to go with. So you can defend at the uh, river choke points like we did. Um, or have decided to. And uh, you can 
also obviously defending here, and this is just the one little gate that you have to come through over here. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare. But they have the attackers have destroyed the uh, tower, and now they're going to send up some siege towers, and they're going to overwhelm this area here. We also a unit that we don't often see, some white hand sappers. Be interesting to see these guys in action. See if they can blow any holes in walls, but there's not really many uh, walls to blow holes in. So, uh, who knows what will happen. But here we go. So, we've got the first advance coming up of uh, the attackers. We have some white hand sappers. These guys looking excellent. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Then we've got... Uh, what else we got here? We've got Urukai infantry, also in shield wall. Everyone keeping their shield wall formation. We've got barrier got archers. I hate these archers. These guys... With their missile block, with their shields, it's just so frustrating. We've got Macemen coming up by, as well, by the looks of it. Two units of Loki and Macemen. And yeah, you can only see I only put three in the uh, shield wall in the end. There's still a gap over here they could possibly get round. I mean, the Woodland Realm looking excellent right now. Always looking excellent. And then uh, we just need one more over here, really. Because otherwise they're going to get round and they're going to see the gap. And I think uh, Isengard has seen the gap. He's now forming up and he's getting ready. And I am, uh, I send another sword unit in here. Ah, yeah, so they try to get around on this side. So I send my last Garland Blades in this side. So there we go, infantry clash number one. And then you can see here, we have another clash of, uh, well, not another clash. Why hand sappers? Getting shot in the side now by uh, Las Garland archers. These guys are going to get absolutely focused down, hopefully. You can see them just there. They're going to charge in. They're going to go after my archers. They're going straight after my archers. Which I'm quite happy with, because my archers can do hold their own. But these are white hand sappers. These are pretty elite. And they're, they're huge shields. They can probably block a lot of archers. And yet, a few of my archers getting cut down as they run away. But up come the Hall Guardians. And they are ready to fight. They'll hold the line. If you guys watched any of my past uh, Rise of Mordor videos with the elves, then you know Hall Guardians do well. And in goes some Last Garland Blades as well. And these guys are sort of flanking around. So yeah, these uh, I've got these Last Garland Blades. They're going to flank around. They're going to go in there. And you can already see, look at my line. It's already in a bit of chaos. Another hole in the line here. As this uh, Last Garland Blade is going to go and sort that issue out. We've got Half Orcs here. Half Orc Axes. Going into combat. They should... They probably will not get through that Elven line. But as you can see instantly, I'm already setting up my Lord's Last Garland. It's my General. Already deciding, right, we're going to need to uh, just get every bow into action right now. We're firing. Luckily... Uh, lots of units are already losing decisively, like War uh, Varag Warriors losing decisively. Um, we've got what we've got here, Loki Rim losing decisively. But look at the sheer amount of archers on that side. I am literally facing probably the majority of Gondor, uh, half of Isengard, and I think most of... Uh, I think I've got Dol Guldur, or is Dol Guldur over there? I think Dol Guldur might be over here. Oh no, these things are also over here as well. I think Dol Guldur and these things are kind of split off in two, but I've, I've also got Dol Guldur's archers here. Um, somewhere. Yeah, they're not not many of them, but they're, they're there. <laughs> it's the threat of them being there. And then we've got, uh, yeah, we've got Uruk, White Hand Stormers here, losing decisively to Hall Guardians. That is what we like to see. Hall Guardians messing up lives. Let's go and check on in Lindon. Is uh, Lindon now engaging? No, he is not, but he's given up the walls. He's getting preparing ready. He's got some uh, shipwright nobles down there. He's got, uh, we've got artillery coming in. Oh, is that going to hit? No, it's not. They don't actually hit any of the, uh, Noldori Well, I'm calling them Noldorians, but the, uh, Lindon troops. I may interchange between the two. But yeah, there we go. So, we broke those half-orcs with the help of the flanking, uh, shots from my Last Garland archers. And now these, uh, Last Garland blades can go into the front line and hold the line. As these, uh, Hall Guardians are winning decisively against Gondorian infantry. A lot of them bloodied up, though. Goddamn Gondor. Just because they can't deal with the elves being the master race. Living longer than anyone else.
just love the insults that they throw at each other. It's hilarious. But yeah, we've got a big blob of infantry coming up here. Got axes of Lozenarch back here. Uh, definitely want to focus them down them. They're just that's a shock infantry unit that's just happily sat there on its own. Uh, in the rear, you can see we've got Wyan Storm is still holding. They're wavering now, but my Hall Guardians are getting focused down. Yeah, my poor Hall Guardians are not doing so well. Over on this side, uh, the Elves are doing a lot better at holding their line. They've got Wraiths in here. They won't break for a long time. They're holding against Asgarland Blades. More Wraiths here. We've got, uh, we've got Phantoms in here as well. We've got Phantoms, which is a spear unit. They look excellent. I don't think I've shown them off. I could be wrong. We've got Dogledore Blades in here. Oh, Dogledore Blades as well. Got all sorts. Interesting to see whether Dogledore can break through. There is a hole in the line here. I'd definitely be forming column formation, but I mean, Woodland Realm is instantly plugging that gap up with some uh, Hall Guardians, preparing them. This side looks like they're holding a lot better than my side. I mean, my side's a bit chaotic with troops getting in behind. But it's been allowing me to get some good flanking fire shots. Look at the mess down here, though. This is disgusting. Like, look at the mess of infantry down there. My general, I think, is under attack. I think he's been shot at. Uh, who knows? But you can see on this side, look, these hall guardians knocking a piece. Uh, just any piece. They're already getting focused down. And I kind of made the mistake of putting them on this flank. Because now they're very much uh, open to the Gondorian archers. But I am trying to flank round so I can uh, re sort of like regain this flank so they can't just keep sending troops around. But yeah, they're getting focused on these Hall Guardians. And that's not good. My other Hall Guardian is actually nearly dead. So 11 men left. And I've got... Actually, no, I have another one here. 44. Yeah, they're not doing so well. Not... They're getting focused on very quickly. Uh, the enemy captured the gates. Okay. That's good for them. But I mean... There's not been an engagement over here yet. They have yet to engage. Um, what have we got over here then? We've got... Oh, we have a... Uh, Lyndon sending over some elves. Excellent. We're going to see some of the uh, elven boys in action together. Side by side. Woodland and Noldorian. So they're going to be desperately needed. Uh, because my front line is starting to waver. Look, you can see... Lots of units losing decisively now. They're starting to break through. My archers are now in combat even with ammo left. Never a good sign. Archers in combat. I mean, these archers will do fine in combat. But, uh... I'd rather use up every shot before I had to send them in. These archers on the side over here, I'm sure, are getting some great shots. I don't know where they're exactly firing at the moment, but... They are just firing into the... Probably into that mass of archers down there, maybe. Or maybe into the mass of infantry here. Oh, no. They're firing all the way back here at these berserkers. Not a bad target, to be fair. Yeah, my general is getting absolute. Look at this. General is going to have to go in combat. Take out these uh, Varigoris that are broken through. But finally, and luckily, the Noldor has arrived. Linden has arrived with his uh, Noldorian swords. And here we go, into combat. Down we go. And into the middle of the Urukai straight away. And Gondor. So the last alliance is truly gone. Men are fighting elves. And these guys are nasty. Um, if you ever face Linden, uh, if you're playing this uh, this mod, be scared. These uh, double-handed axes, or double-handed swords, I should say, are nasty. Um, especially in a choke point. They will do a lot of damage. Kind of the same as the Hall Guardians. Hall Guardians, I find, do a lot of damage as well there. And now we've got, I think this is my allies, Hall Guardians, being sent in. And they're now holding to plug this line. I was very lucky that my allies were so close. Look at this. Look at this unit here. Needs to get into the combat. Doesn't want to stand here. Get focused down. Already bloodied up though. But yes, yeah, so the the idea here was to use this little zone here. If they send anything through, it becomes a kill zone. I have so many archers back here. Like, so if they just come through this gap, they get focused down. But it becomes a kill zone. Uh, but my general's now in a bit of trouble. He's getting focused on by a lot of archers. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to fall him back. 
In they go, more Noldorians going in. And this mess becomes even messier. It is truly a mess. But let's go and check out on uh, Noldor. On the oh, there you go. My general just died. He got focused down by archers. It was so frustrating. But yeah, we can see Linden over here is uh, having a much fun... Quite a fun time, I'd say. A much fun time. What bad English that is, Pope. Come on. Get it together. But yeah, we've got Urukai scouts here, it looks like. Against uh, these Noldorian uh, swords. They're not going to... Not going to kill many uh, elves, I don't think, here. But we've got uh, the sappers. I think they're going just to go past... Not quite sure where they're going. They're all going out here is Isengard. I don't know if he's going to flank round or what, but I mean... I mean, the elves have got plenty of troops here. Yep, unit wavering already, Urukai scouts. We've got some Urukai infantry in here now. Again, I don't think these guys are going to be enough. I think you're going to need some proper shock infantry. You're going to need some archers. Focus these guys down. I think, is that, that's arrows from the elves. They're firing their uh, Noldorian archers into this blob just to make it even more painful for these Urukai. A good flank here might help. This golden armor is beautiful. Beautiful. This is what I've been waiting for. A good last lines elven uh, faction. I mean, obviously the submod did their own and it's really good as well. Them and Imladris. But I mean... I'm do I do like a in the main mod now as well, so I can have them side by side with my woodland realm. You could anyway when the sub mod gets updated. And there you go, the elves are surrounded, but I don't think this is going to stop them. You know, they're still uh, they're still losing decisively here. This unit's in even, and they the Noldorian elves. Look at them, winning slightly. Those guys, man, they do not care. Shipwrights, nobles. Let's have a check out on them and fighting in combat. The blood on the silver armor here is going to look beautiful. That just sounds awful. That does sound awful. Yes, the blood on on the men of those goddamn Urukai killed looks amazing. It just sounds so psychopathic almost. But maybe that's what Total War turns you into. You just don't care. You lose a thousand men, it doesn't matter. You can lose a thousand men in the blink of an eye. It doesn't matter. Doesn't affect anyone if you're a Total War commander. Yeah, these guys are not going to break through anytime soon. This is the elite sword unit. I presume they were in short shield formation as well. They've not. They've killed three, uh, and they've lost six. Uh, no, they've lost more than that. They've lost about thirty. Yeah, going at that ratio, they're going to need a lot more Urukai in here. I mean, the elves here look like they're getting focused on by art uh, by artillery. Um, not a bad use of artillery in fairness. Oh my god, these Dunland tribesmen, yeah. I thought they were about to focus down then with Noldor and Archers, but that's just a waste of ammo. Might as well just use these, uh, we've got Urukai bows in here, but these guys have already been, like, beaten up as well. Back on the, uh, back on the, the side over here, you can see that, uh, it's come down to very little. It's holding these guys back. We've now got, oh god, there's, a, the frames went down a little bit there coming over here. Maybe just because of the sheer amount of bodies, I don't know. But we've got Swan Knights in here now. I'm literally holding these Swan Knights back with a depleted unit of archers. Uh, my Noldorian ally, uh, or my, I should say, Linden ally, uh, is almost gone as well. His unit is just fighting, um, well, Fountain Guard, never a good sign. Don't want to fight pikes with uh, swords. And then we've got, yeah, these uh, Fountain Guard are now getting focused down. My Woodland Realm ally is now starting to send over archers, so we should be okay. His general, the Elven King, is also in here. But here we go. So this kill box is now going to be used to some sort of effect. So the general for the, uh, the champions of Dol Guldur is now in here. And he's fighting the Elven King, Thranduil. And he's also getting focused down, hopefully. But, I mean, so is the Elven King. The Elven King's not looking so hot himself. And there you go. I think the uh, uh, other Woodland General... Is now dead as well. Other woodland, I could be wrong. Yeah, it is. It's the other other woodland realm. Uh, General has lost his, so you might as well just keep him in combat here. But yeah, you can see we are in some real situations here. Bane of the steps now in, and they they're going to be able to go after all these archers. Look at all these archers with so much ammo left. When all Dorian archers over here, there's just so many archers here. It's ridiculous. 
this flank now is being held up by the Elven King. There's nothing else stopping that flank. It's so close. On this side, we're doing a lot better. Um, we do have Lasgal and Blades flanking around. We're going to route this uh, Bouncing Guard unit. But at what cost? At what cost? That's a beautiful shot, actually. I do like seeing the Fountain Guard. Just fighting it out. We've got Hall Guardians here holding the line. And they're just slowly being chipped away off in the back by the last Garland Blaze, which is good to see. But yeah, more men breaking. Uh, looks like it's my archers. Uh, no, they're wait. Yeah, they've gone. They've wavered and gone. Now it's onto the next one. But these champions of uh, Dolgaldo, I think they've lost their general, or they're about to lose theirs. But they've got very little left as Dolgaldo. Dolgaldo is basically spent. Um, where is their unit? I can't tell actually. Merkwood Trackers. You know, no, their general's still alive at this point. O only just. But I mean, he's triple gold chevron is this guy. It's insane. Um, but yeah, my archer should do okay here. They're still firing. Some of them are still casually firing in the back. Yeah, don't mind us. And here we go. We've got a uh, Hall Guardian now being sent in over here. They should mess up these uh, cavalry a little bit. I think this is the uh, Gondor's general as well. So this is... I could be wrong. This could just be... Yeah, it's Gondor's general. If we can get Gondor's general. That would be excellent. But we... Because Gondor's got a little bit left, but his uh, pike's now routing, so we're now able to go after all these archers. Look at all of these archers here. That is all that's left. There's also a unit of last Garland Blades. I don't even know how this got here. They got deep into enemy lines. I presume they went around that way. But I'm not even sure how this unit got here. But they're fighting uh, Athelian Rangers in the back here. Oh, that volley, though. That is nasty. I think that's the Eastling archers. Barrack uh, archers firing in the back. Elves versus men. It's a horrible sight to see. Unless it's evil men you're fighting as elves. But it's not. It's the good. They're actually on the side of the evil men today. Yeah, so we won on this like flank of the uh, river crossing. But this side's still a little bit tenuous. We've got Hall Guardians going in. They ch should route. I mean, yeah. The frames when going into this area here is uh, a lot <laughs> a lot lower than when you're out on, out on the banks. I will admit Probably just because of the sheer amount of bodies. I have a feeling it might have something to do with that. Also, this is a lot of archers in his head. Jeez, look at the arrows. Look at the arrows. There's that poor Hall Guardian there. Had an arrow in his head. There's plenty more Hall Guardians with arrows all over them as well. Yeah, these uh, Fountain Guard won't hold on. They didn't set up properly. Archers here being routed by more Hall Guardians. And now they're kind of just moving on in. There's not much left to fight. There's uh, Warriors of Lozenarch. And uh, White Hand Stormers, and that's probably it. But it, the balance of power, like we were 10,000 versus 400 at the beginning of this battle. It was not good. The balance of power is not in our favor. And it's now gone to, like, even. And we've, uh, that just shows the power of elves. Elves are just very, very strong in this. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't help over on this side that it just this army is filled with Urukai archers and scouts and stuff. So, I mean, I mean, there is Urukai infantry as well, but I mean, it was, uh, it wasn't look, it's still not looking so hot. I mean, the archers just are so nasty. I didn't even see if the sappers got used. I don't know if they used, like, if they could be used. They're getting cut down anyway by archers. I'm going to say that they weren't used and they just kind of went in there to die. I don't know if the plan was to blow a hole in a wall or what, but they didn't set any mines off. I believe that the sappers do work now as well, but who knows. Look at this poor guy. Just kill him. Just bullying him by prodding him. Yeah, so the uh, Noldor in a question is doing okay. Oh, that was a good volley. Uh, hitting their own men. Friendly fire. I thought that was like hit that. I thought these were elven archers, but no, these are Urukai archers. They're getting cut down. Uh, they're getting cut down by elves, and then just to help, they're getting shot by their own art, uh, artillery. And then we've got Knights of the Silver Swan in here. These guys won't hold long against shock infantry. 
And also just in prolonged melee. But yeah, we've defeated nearly everything on this side as well. This is excellent. I think Isengard's general's still alive. Ever so slightly, he's like got 26 men left. These Wyan Storms just won't die. So frustrating. Look at this shield wall. How is that still holding? And then on this side, there's like a tiny unit of phantoms left. One man, isn't it? Yeah. This is what phantoms are like. Let's actually, you know what? Take advantage. Check this guy out. If he stops scratching himself. Are you just going to... Don't do this to me. Get up. Get up. Yes, that's right. So yeah, they kind of look pretty cool. Let's get them face on. Pretty hard to see. He's in a, a bit in the dark at the moment. But yeah, it's just a load of bandages, to be honest. Just a bandaged up man. Or orc, I guess. I wonder what they were. Were they orcs or men? Who knows? But yeah, we're now back in the fighting in the river. As we carry on. And now we're taking the offensive instead of the attackers. And it's uh, archers against swords and shock infantry, which is not going to end well for the archers. Barrack warriors should do okay. They do have shields. Um, but there's just so many elves. Like, there's so many elves left. I mean, not so many. It's just there's quite a few. Bands power now shifting in our favor. We have the numbers on our side. Like, look at these elven units. I literally have units here with, like, ten men left, and they just won't break. That is the power of the elves. Did that unit in the back uh, break? I think it did. There's another unit back here. Jeez, um, as my voice slightly breaks. Um, Lasgal and archers got all the way back here. They're fighting uh, Blackroot Vale archers. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of troops. Like, look at these Gondorian archers. They looks amazing. Like from a distance, just so again, they also just look gorgeous. Gondor is such a great faction. Complete as well. One of the few complete factions. Let's have a volley. Volley. Yeah, I mean, they're about to get chased down now by elves, so... Here they come. Angry elves. Yes, charging. Look at that guy. Oh, my gosh. Did you see that? That guy just, like, jumped in, pinned the man down. I don't know if I got that, like... If you clearly saw that I saw it, but, like, yeah, a guy, like, just got pinned down and murdered. It's like... Jumped like a feline in there. Horrific. And it's a cool animation, but... What a horrific way to go. Oh, the archer, the officer of the uh, archer looks awesome. We've got, let's get him. Come on, there we go. Gondor's uh, officer looks awesome. A veteran, grizzled veteran with his beard and long hair. He's overextending himself, though. His arms get overextending his sword arm a bit. But um, yeah, this is kind of what it's down to now. It's just down to elves. Uh, well, not elves. Gondor's archers. We've got a few uh, Blackroot Vale archers. We've got some. Varag Bowman, which we all just kind of ignored, but it did seem. There's just Varag Bowman chilling here. And they're not going to do anything either. They're just focusing down these last Garland archers, strangely. So no one's actually going to shoot them or charge them or whatever. Then on this side, um, yeah, Linden's nearly just cleaned up everything here. The men are broken and running for their There's lives. just a couple of units of uh, Urukai. I'm not even sure, sure why he's not charging them down. Uh, maybe he's just microing on our side, but they are breaking now. Uh, well, certainly that one is. I think, yeah, he's micing on this side. He's more interested in the cavalry here, which is now coming to the back of all these Blackroot uh, of these Gondor's archers. Blackroot Vale archers. Gondor's archers also, I think, are pretty decent in melee. I mean, they've got good armor, which is probably why they do okay in melee. They hold a bit longer because they can just take a few more hits. It's the uh, battle of the archers with cool armor. I do like el the elven armor, but Gondor's armor is a classic. It looks great. And there you go, they're charging to the back of more Blackroot Vale archers. So, and this is what's the difference is now. I think the cavalry just difference in here. I mean, they do have cavalry of their own. I believe they have Swan Knights left. Um, I think they're over here, yeah. I'm literally fighting a unit of Swan Knights. And actually, I'm breaking it. Which is excellent. We're breaking it, and then I think we're going to uh, go after the Eastlings. I'm not sure. Not sure what we're doing. But there you go. Gondor's general is uh, broken or is bro wavering. Uh, yeah, I think he's wavering. I think he's about to go. He's still alive, actually. Jeez. He's got 11 men left. Someone charge him or shoot him or something. Do something. 
And here you go. I think this might be the charge. Oh no, I thought the questions were going to go for him. Someone's going to go for him. Yes, here we go. Noldor and Equestrians. Equestrians make them sound so amateur, but they're really not. Oh, no. They're not going to. What was that? What is that for a charge? It's an interesting, like, this swerve off at the last moment. And then they break, just like that. The general just broke. And that is going to be the battle, I think. So the elves came out on top. They held their river points. Only just, though. I mean, I don't know how we did it. Um, I was, like... From like minute one, I was in code red, I think. It was such a hard micro for me. Um, but there you go, a close defeat. We will end the replay and have a look at the end results. Um, I'm That is definitely broken. So it's, yeah, I'm not sure what's happened here. The replay is ever so slightly broken. So it's, it's a shame. The end results don't work, but I'm pretty sure Aiden got a lot of kills with his uh, whole guys, like 400 kills. TZN got like plenty of kills with his uh, Lindens. But yeah, I'm not quite sure what's happened to the replay here. Broke ever so slightly at the end, which is a shame. But um, if you enjoyed, then uh, please do leave a like, subscribe if you are uh, new around here, and uh, leave a comment to show your support. I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, Linden for the first time and that battle. Uh, a bit of a shame about the end results, can see what happened, but it was a very epic battle in... Anyway, apparently it was a close defeat for us. That's also not right. Um, we did win. But yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed, uh, like I said, feel free to support the channel. And until next time, Legionnaires... Bye for now.